Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Holy Roman Record Race in Europa Universalis 4. So it looks like the army has been transported automatically. This is apparently now the... I was going to use the 8th fleet. Alright, let's go take back Palermo. Please tell me you've taken Cord Messina. Almost. You should be done with Cairo by now. We have no unrest here. That might be just because we've got troops here. No, actually, uh, you would be negative even without it. You've already had a recent uprising. Okay. We're not going to protect for you anymore then. We'll go protect that one instead. It's been a lot of rebel management in the last video or two, but... Well, you know, that's kind of what happens when you conquer the world. It's all about rebels. Still sitting on three stability, which is nice. Grab that third fleet. Okay, um, as soon as those guys get off, I want to send all the transports together. Damn. Need to find a general. Yeah, you don't need to be here. And you don't need to worry about the, the heretics, but you've got to go here and up there. We've still got to take care of these. But things are looking pretty good, actually. That's unfortunate, but they had already cored that, so... I'm gonna hire another leader. I feel like three is just not quite cutting it. Somebody wants out. Zapotec. What's up with you? We've got you blockaded, so you want out. You're scared, huh? Well, we'll take your money. And war reparations. Goodbye. Okay. Um, we're not actually hostile with anybody down here. And yet this stuff is still occupied by Portugal. So they're slowly taking it back. Meanwhile, New Portugal is getting devastated. And I don't believe there's anyone I can transfer occupation to. French Canada, you really need to expand a little bit down that way. Still, we're at zero war score when they have negative 25 from their damn capital. If I could do it over again, I would have declared on Spain instead of Portugal. It would have made it a lot easier to get war score against Portugal. By the way, we can also take uh, Administrative Tech 22, which is going to reduce our administrative efficiency and give us another idea group. We want to pay for it now. I feel like we probably should not. Not until we get to the maximum number of points. These are not my rebels. I see rebels and I immediately assume that I need to take care of it. But nope, those aren't our rebels. These are not the rebels you're looking for. Okay, you're going to take care of that. And supply there's 31. Why don't we have you go end in... The 50 supply province. Okay, um, bum, bum, bum. you'll be there on the 4th. Why don't you just re redirect, go straight for it. And then once you're done, you're gonna go take care of that one that just popped up. Great, it's fun. Something like that. Alright, you don't need to be there anymore. Let's check on our transports. They're getting done. We've still got one more transport in production. So where are all of the transports then? We've got the first fleet. We've got these 19 and these 16. 
Okay. I do need to take that. No, they'll they'll take it back on their own. It's already core. They'll do it eventually. Not worried about it. If you know it wasn't quite so spread out, they could probably handle a lot of these rebellions on their own. Let's unappoint that general as well, just so I know that he's act uh, available. Balance these two armies out. Those look good. These all look fine. Composition's not bad on most of them. Sienna, are you done yet? You are. Thank you. Okay, all you guys can head to a high supply limit province in the coast. 46 sounds good. That's actually more than 46, isn't it? Okay, in that case, you three go to that one there, and you guys go to that one. Oh man, they landed. They landed. Naval, look at this. What kind of crap is that, huh? They spawned as we were landing. These are all transports. We've got 35 more transports. Let's grab the primary fleet and we're gonna go send it all the way up to meet them because Portugal could have some ships still. We're gonna have to retreat from this. I'm gonna need a couple more guys. Cancel our military access here. Didn't actually help us at all. Okay, income seems acceptable. Could be better. Could always raise war taxes. Okay, well, the war with Portugal. A lot more complicated than I had expected, but it's almost over. Let's check out some truce timers. Okay, uh, the Oirat. Our truce with them actually ended like two years ago. I've just been really busy. This one's based on winning battles, and this one's based on taking the capital. Taking the capital is clearly easier. Um, we are still at 96% overextension, but when we take this tech, that's going to drop. I don't know if I ever get another claim on the Oirat. Just something. More rebellion. What are you guys up to? Lubick? They should merge together eventually. All these armies are doing not much. I think we could probably afford to park them all up in Northumberland. Get ready for war with England. Great Britain, whatever they're called. We have a truce? We do not. You would call in people that I actually kind of do want to attack. Sweden's down to one province minor. We can get rid of them in this war. We already have a claim. Yep, I think we do that. They'll call in Munster in Norway. They still exist? Really? I don't even know who you are. Okay. But yes. I think it's time that we actually attack them. So, never mind, we'll redirect. Half go to there, half go to there. Have to go there, have to go there, and then you go to the forest. Gotta keep the war running, right? Our fleet is on its way. Meanwhile, Portuguese Brazil 
and New Portugal are getting obliterated by our vassals who are actually willing to cross. Oh, hey, it's the Great Britain fleet. Mostly lights, though. Have a huge morale advantage over us, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, we just killed. We gained 10 prestige because we killed some, like, what, seven, eight ships. Nice. I need someone to siege that for me, please. Because I don't want to do it. The rebellions are actually squashed for the moment. This is amazing. I'm just, I'm shocked. For the moment, I mean. It's not gonna stay that way. Oh no. You know it's not gonna ever stay peaceful. Truce with you. I could transfer this to Siena. Siena has cored all their stuff. And then Siena's gonna eat most of Africa. We can bring in Kilwa. We have a truce with Mombasa. If Kilwa's capital is coastal, I think we can yeah. We can still we can give Siena a bunch of crap. This also will allow us to, like, march down that way and be closer. Oh, yeah, just go. Oh, come on, would you give me military access, please? Make this easier? Thank you. Wow, look at that manpower. Crap. Who would have thought I would burn through a half million manpower? <laughs> Don't answer that question. You knew it would happen. Is there any policies we can act that will give us more, uh, more manpower? More land force limit. More force limit. We gained 5,600 a month. We've got some money, we've got military. Let's go back to the ledger, and we'll just keep on building... Things that give us manpower. You can never have too much manpower, says, says the event. We were losing ships here. Actually doing some damage. All these transports, I think we will have them all go to Algarve, and that is where we'll send fleet number one as well. Despite all this combat, we're at 0 0.03 war exhaustion. Fully defensive. Yeah, of course you would. Or, of course. Why wouldn't you? Okay, um, detach, go there. Detach and go down there. Detach and go down there. I'm gonna try to spread out this time because we are suffering so much of a manpower shortage. Maybe I got a little reckless, maybe, a little bit with manpower. Possible. All of these stupid African countries are fully defensive. Of course, we don't have a leader. Why would we have a leader? It's crazy. This is uh, neutral territory. We can go here, right? And appoint a leader? Yes, we can. You're not going to let me cross the strait. So that means that this province, Zanzibar, will be not possible to take. Uh, we will take the... Mercantilism, and then we will take the Papal Influence. Meanwhile, our cores are almost done. And it's almost the new year, so we're 
getting closer to getting rid of that penalty. My fleet is all the way around near Congo. I think we need some more heavies as well. They're just... They're beating them up. I don't like it. Alright, um, rather than have to manage this one province at a time, I'm just going to go split, split, split. That should work. Hopefully we don't encounter any resistance that's actually going to hold them back. I hope. Okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna take a break here. Force seem to be good. We got 52,000 men here, that's maybe a bit excessive. Send 26 from over that way. You don't need to be led anymore. Nor do you. Mecklenburg has finished most of their cores. Let's, let's split these armies in half again. And then once they've spread out, I might consider bringing them down. Oh yeah, that's right, we're at war with Great Britain, I forgot about that. You know, it happens. You, you know, when you misplace a war, just paradox things. Or just, just EU4 things. March. Forward ho. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, I guess we actually do need a leader for down here. You're busy. You are not busy. You get to go over here. Not our problem. Okay, now that you guys are all spread out, um... I want you to come down. Alright, yep, I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.